I'm Mark Gillespie. Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Cast HD. This time around, I'm on location at Balblair Distillery in the Highlands of Scotland in the little town of Edderton. In fact, there's pretty much about as many people that work at the distillery as live in Edderton. Only about seven guys work in distilling operations here at Balblair, and they do pretty much a little bit of everything. In the old days, Balblair had 14 workers, and distillery employees worked their way up through the ranks from the warehouses to milling, mashing, and eventually working the stills. Now Balblair is just one of many distilleries in Scotland that can run with one operator per shift, with computers getting the credit, or the blame. That means a lot of multitasking. All the guys here, multi-skilled, been here a very long time. Uh, Martin's been here for 32 years, Mike's been here 26 years, two John's 16 years. It, it kind of tells its own story. You know, when people start to work here, they tend not to leave. Uh, and I have to say that I am blessed with having terrific workforce here. Um, take pride in what they do. Val Blair sends all of its spirit destined for blending by tanker south to the Inver House facilities in Airdrie, just outside of Glasgow. But spirit that's destined for use as single malt stays here on site. And today, Martin McDonald and John Ross are stacking casks three deep in one of the distillery's traditional dunnage warehouses. Martin's been at the distillery for 32 years. John's the baby of the team with just 16 years on the job. I budgered the boss, wanting a job, wanting a job. And then eventually he came to me, offered me the job, and the rest history. <laughs> and as the junior member of the team, he's still paying his dues. It depends what shift you're on. Like this week, I spend the week in the warehouse working. Now for the first Monday, Tuesday, I'm in the warehouse stowing with Martin and whoever else comes out. Wednesday, Thursday, I might have to cut grass, paint the casks, hoover out the visitor centre area. It all depends. It just depends on what's happening in certain weeks. However, this is just the start of Martin's day. Last week I should be back shift 2 o'clock to 10. I've come out at 10 o'clock in the morning to work in the warehouse, and then I go in and do my own shift from 2 to 10. So you're doing a double shift today? A double shift today, yeah. These casks weigh between 500 and 1,000 pounds, but stacked three deep, they'll stay in place for years until they're rolled out for the final time to be bottled as Bell Blair single malt. When you go on holiday, you see it in the airport, and you think, well, I've made some of that in one way or another. I'll either roll the cask or have mashed it or have distilled the spirit. It gives you a lot of pride. And that pride carries over when they leave the distillery and run into the guys from the distilleries up and down the road. We know each other throughout from here to Glenmorangie and other firms. We know each other. We go on courses, we meet up with them and get to know them. and We just have a bit of fun together. And that's it, really. You wind them up at all? Yeah, we wind each other up. A bit of fun about who's making the best whiskey. Of course, it's us. <laughs> it can only be. What exactly would you do if you ran into somebody, say, from Glenmorangie at a pub down just down the road? We just tell them we're looking after their cost. We own 6,000 cost. For, we stole them here for Glen Morangie, so we just wind them up so it's tasting better. They'll do the world a good line here. Of course, the Bal Blair guys get their own share of ribbing, especially John Ross. Not only is he the younger of the two John Rosses on the team, but he's the only one whose wife works at the distillery. Julie Ross just came on board to lead tours. I suppose we're like a small family, we argue. And we all go out for drinks together too, so it's just like a small family. The scenery here at Bal Blair is about to change dramatically over the next few months. There's a wedding here in July, but as soon as that wedding is over, construction will start on the distillery's first visitors center. It'll be open in the fall of 2011. For more cask strength conversation and stories on whiskey and the people who make it, visit us at whiskeycast.com. I'm Mark Gillespie.